I'm appalled at what you said on that pod thing. It's disgusting. This is the After the Show podcast. It's where we get honest and real with your ass. So sit back, relax, have a blast, because it's time for the After the Show podcast. It's really so crazy to just sit here and watch the new bird emerge from what creature he has been for the <laughs> last four years with all that hair. Good heavens. Look out, zaddy alert, oh, right? Am I, mean, I maybe, right? Maybe it's a good thing you didn't have this sexy haircut yesterday at uh, over the weekend at the Crawfish Fest because ladies would have been on it. Oh, man, oh, man. I would love that. <laughs> How different does it feel? For four oh. years, you've had super long hair. It's, it feels so different. And now it is nice and uh, trimmed tight on the sides and the back. And you got a slight little bit of length at the top, but I mean nothing compared to what you had had. Yeah, I usually kind of put it to the side typically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm so happy this is happening. It's amazing. What a great head of hair he has. Oh, look at that. Look at that. What a transformation. What a stud. Pretty All insane. Right. Take it, take it yeah. It gets weird. Thank you again to a Chi who Chi. put an amazing Chi. Chi look on you. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, here it is on uh, Monday. We're having beers. I, I crack one, too. If you can't beat him, join him, right? Why not? Virginia started off the show with one. Bird had one. I'm like, I don't know. Chi's right. got one. I'm like, I better have a beer, I guess. We got him. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Fuck it. Here we are. <laughs> that time of day. It's Monday. What the hell? I can't wait to start off the day. It sounds like we all kind of went hard, including Chi. Oh, my gosh. She's like, she's like, I'm hungover, too. I'm like, oh. <laughs> we're, we're all here, and we all made it, but we all deserve a beer. There you go. Nice. All right, so finishing touches are on that. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see how that's uh, coming across. We'll do a nice little sexy photo shoot with uh, the bird here so you can see all the different phases. We did a mullet if you missed the regular show. We'll have photos of that posted, too. That was tight, too. We should have a little video for that as well. Yeah. And now I'm ready to recreate that Burt Reynolds pose. Wow. Just okay. Can, just can somebody get me a bearskin rug? I don't see why not. Yeah, that- we got to find one because I think that's going to really make the picture. Well, isn't that what he did? Yeah. It mm-hmm. doesn't have to be a real bear, either. We, we prefer a... I'd like a faux bear. A fake bear would be cool. <laughs> fake we, bear? We uh, we like bears here. We don't want to kill them. No. Mm. Maybe it's a bear that just lived a full life. There you Died go. Died of natural causes. Be- we'll take that bear. A gray bear? And he, and he donated his skin to science. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that could happen. Uh, got uh, some emails here today. Didn't get to a ton on Friday, so let me see what I can get through here. Karen in Pembroke Pine said, I got a 17-year-old son who wants to attend Sunfest to see his favorite rapper, Young Gravy. We just found out the friend he was going with can no longer afford to buy a ticket, and I went to Sunfest years ago to watch No Doubt perform. I remember the event takes place outside. I suggested to my son that maybe he and his friend could just listen to the performance rather than buy tickets. How hard is this to do at Sunfest? His performer is playing at the Ideal Nutrition Stage Saturday night. I obviously have not been in years. We live in Pembroke Pines, by the way, so I'm not familiar with the area. I think the Ideal Nutrition Stage was the Meyer Amphitheater, but that could have changed. Could have, but it probably is still the same one. And uh, the gate from that to where Sunfest is... Yeah, technically you could, I'm sure, stand outside where the stage is and here. It just depends. I mean, I did this at Tortuga just last weekend. I'm glad I did because I got to hear the big songs I wanted to hear from the one band I wanted to see, and I didn't want to pay $300 to hear six to eight songs that I really want to hear. I didn't think it was uh, worth it. And if you're kind of there, I guess technically you could do it. Um, why not? The one thing I will tell you about Sunfest, and we're giving away tickets, uh, the price is, it's, it really is the most reasonable of the uh, different uh, outdoor uh, concerts that we have, the festivals. I mean, compared yeah. to Ultra, especially compared to Tortuga, which was ridiculous. Uh, it's cheaper than Country Bay Music Festival that I went to. Um, so, you know, it's like 60 to 100 bucks, I think, is what you're talking about for... You know, one day I think you do sixty. If that's nothing fancy, we'll get you in. So it depends on if that's worth it to you or not. And if not, then yeah, you could. Um, 
you would just be kind of uh, standing outside. I think it would be um, around Daytura streets. It'd be, it'd be kind of like uh, just a little bit uh, south of Daytura. Yeah, in between Daytura and Ivernia, there's a whole block there that has like a big apartment condo building. Yeah. If you stood on that sidewalk, I think you'll be able to hear every word. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's doable. So you could drop them off about three blocks away uh, down there, probably, uh, probably a little bit west of Olive. And uh, you could just drop through, just pull over, let them out of the car, and... Let them go check it out. I think it would work. I don't know if I've seen people doing it, but I haven't really paid attention. But, but what you really should try to do is win tickets from the radio station. Yeah, we we did tickets today, and they were the stand uh, tickets, which uh, to me is a, the best way to watch at SunFest. It's, I think, 40 bucks extra if you do it. No, I think it's worth it. Uh, if it's a band you really like or there's a couple acts that you really like, definitely do it because uh, it is a more affordable ticket. I mean, you're talking about even if you did that, that's $100. Tortuga is 150 for general admission, and you weren't even nearly as close as what you're going to get at some Yeah, fast. that's a big jump. Yeah, it is. Especially for a kid, you know, right. a younger person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'd say uh, do that, give it a shot. Uh, Lori said, why is the Pink concert canceled in Miami in November of 2024? I don't know. I just got word on that. She was going to be playing with Sheryl Crow at Lone Depot Park. And um, I just got note that it was off the schedule. I don't know why. That is weird. Yeah, you know, she she's doing uh, another show in South Florida, so maybe it was just the ticket demand wasn't there because of the other show. Enough people are like, well, I got it. And Miami may not be a, a, a market for pink, possibly. Maybe, yeah. I mean, most times when they cancel, it's because of – Low ticket sales or a personal problem. Yeah. So either way, it sucks. You don't want to hear that for Pink because we love Pink. Right. But she, she does. I mean, South Florida does seem to love her. But, you know, I think they kind of get an idea of like where ticket sales are and, and whatnot. You know, Miami, you get a Spanish performer and they're going to sell out three nights at the Caseya Center. And then you get more into Broward. She does well, you know, in Broward. And, you know, she can play Miami, but I just don't know. Maybe she hit it one too many times. And the ticket sales weren't great. Maybe. Because keep maybe. in mind, that's a Lone Depot, too, so you're in Little Havana down there. And maybe a lot of the Pink fans also love Taylor Swift and spent too much on the Taylor tickets, and we're like, we can't do anything else but Taylor. Yeah, it would be a month after the Taylor Swift show, possibly. Taylor tickets are mm-hmm. expensive. Mm-hmm. Oh, getting them eyebrows yep. done. Oh, oh you can do an eyebrows. Wow. wow. Look at Bird, man. Yeah, yeah somebody said, just yeah, roll back the years. It uh, did. It's amazing. Yeah, that's, that's looking looking slick, dog. Yeah, big sexy. You hey, kind of got the top now. It's all quaffed. How do you deal with your eyebrows? How, how do you do? You just pluck them, or do do you do a, uh, a clipper? I don't do a thing. You don't do a thing. No, nah, don't nah, touch them. I don't have bushier eyebrows. They just they are what they are. In fact, I need my I need more eyebrows. You do. You have half a brow. Yeah, I I, I don't touch them. I've never shaved, clipped trimmed anything if i had your brows i'd be coloring them more often Mm -hmm. i color mine okay do you just to make them darker yeah how do you color them it's a a vegetable dye it's non-toxic and it's like safe for your skin you know about this vegetable dye kevin no nothing i don't know anything about it i don't know about it i don't know about vegetables i like a dark brow you know i love that look yeah, Virginia loves the Muppet look. I do. Mm. I love a Muppet brow. She mm. loves when the motherfucker looks like Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bert is hotter, but... Okay. Oh, you can get a little trim up on the uh, beard there, huh? Oh, yeah. Look at that, man. This is full service. Feels good to be pampered, Kev. Yeah, you look pampered. Yeah, I got, I, got a good look going right I now. I feel like the homeless guy from Happy Gilmore... And he's getting the, he's getting the haircut yeah. and the bath. This is amazing glow up. Yeah, this is a huge change for Jaybird. Yeah, he, that's a good look. Have you ever seen the musical Sweeney Todd, Chi? Uh, I saw the movie, but not the movie. Oh, okay. Well, it's the same thing. You ever wanted to kill somebody when they're in your chair because their neck is so exposed like that? She, she don't. She's fucking crazy. No, <laughs> you, you don't have to answer that. <laughs> It'd be so easy to just... <laughs> I think you can find, um, I think there's, sometimes I would like to say, um, 
I think there's other barbers out there that are better for you. Right? Move along. Oh, yeah, we're not so you just yeah. ask them to leave instead of slice nice their throat. Yes, exactly. Yeah, my wife gotcha. was saying she was, you know, she gets her hair done in uh, Boca, the Ooh. guy she's gone to forever. Fancy. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a husband of a friend of hers. And she said this freaking Boca bitch comes walking in there. And she's like, uh, yeah, can you uh, see me now? And he's like, uh, yeah. He's like, well, uh, in, in 10 minutes, she's like, well, I got someplace I got to go. You need to see me now. And he's like, well, just have a seat. I'll be. She's like, never mind. And just walks out. I'm like, how nasty. See me now? Yes. <laughs> wow. Don't you have to have an appointment usually? People uh, you know, should. People know that if they have any class. It's Boca. Yeah, Boca's rude. Yeah. It's like par for the course, huh? Uh, Brett, we were talking about uh, this last week. This was uh, about uh, the courts. Uh, the Donald is starting uh, his first court case of many today. This is the uh, bribe money for Stormy Daniels, uh, the hush money. And did he keep it uh, quiet from voters? They're going to uh, rule on that. Um, you had asked about, uh, we were talking about jury trials and all that stuff, including OJ. And he said on Friday's show, Jaybird mentioned how bizarre it is that two different courts ruled differently about O.J. The criminal court found not guilty and the civil court found liable. There are a couple of reasons why this could happen to someone. Firstly, civil courts are criminal courts and they have different burdens of proof. In a criminal court, the prosecutor has to prove that a defendant committed the crime beyond a reasonable doubt. Basically, the jury has to be super convinced that the person did it. Any reasonable doubt about it means not guilty. In civil courts, the burden of proof is usually a preponderance of the evidence. Or put more simply, more likely than not. Ah. So a jury usually just needs to feel that it's more likely than not that someone did something. It's a way lower burden of proof and therefore much easier to get a liable verdict in a civil court. So that, that explains why maybe the difference... And the OJ cases between the criminal to the civil. Secondly, there are different elements to prove in a criminal charge than a civil charge. Criminal murder charge versus civil wrongful death charge almost definitely wouldn't have the same elements to prove in court. Huh. Yeah. So there you go. So that is a bit of the difference. And I know a lot of people don't uh, follow this stuff, so I try to uh, glean out the interesting points of some of the politics and things that you don't care about. With this trial that begins today for Donald Trump, they say this is likely the only trial that will be done before the election, what happened in November with uh, him. And in this trial, if convicted, he faces four years in prison, Virginia. Four. How odd is that? That is so odd. Four years. And how long is a pre presidential term? Four years. Four years. And this is not a federal trial. So if he got four years, President Trump could not pardon himself. So we could have a sitting president serving his term in prison. What? Is that not just goofy land? That is goofy. Right. So there you go. Just imagine if that happened. <laughs> Could you what? imagine press conferences, everything that happened, he would be addressing you from his cell? My brain just broke. I mean, just broke. I mean, I can't even wrap my brain around he's this. He's going to do the, the Shook Knight? Or he's doing the Shook Knights and going to do a podcast? Our president of the United States <laughs> would be in prison. Now, I, now this is wacko world, and I, I just can't imagine this happening. But as it is right now, it is a possibility with a four-year prison sentence looming over donald trump that he could win the presidency couldn't pardon himself and would spend his entire term in prison wow <laughs> right can you imagine what other countries be going what their sitting leader is in prison it's just crazy to think about like whoa yeah i i can't imagine that would happen but as it is right now it is on the table it is a possibility. And if the max is four, I don't think he'll get the max yeah, of anything. I, I don't I don't see this happening. Right. There, there's just, I mean, but, you know, the world's wacky. But, no, there's no way this happens. But right now, as it sits here today, you would have to rule it as a possibility. Could. Wow. Right. Uh, <laughs> it's wild. Isn't that a wild concept? Yeah, I thought the same thing. 
Uh, let me see here. A couple of uh, quick things. Other uh, emails that we got. Talking about uh, Floridians moving out. Uh, Jessica in Madison, Wisconsin. She said, yeah, I wanted to let you know about a recent encounter I had at work. Um all the employees here at the University in Madison, Wisconsin, I met with a new employee who had a Florida license. He was from Florida City, and I asked him what brought him to Wisconsin. He said he couldn't afford Florida anymore. He said his opportunity popped up, and he had to take it. So I'm curious how often this will happen in the future. My husband and I made a similar decision when we lived in Denver, and prices were so outrageous we had to move back to Wisconsin. I did warn him about the Midwest traffic jam. It's where you're stuck at the stop sign and nobody will go because they're all too nice and they're waving others to go before them that's what it's like driving in the midwest <laughs> wow no you, go ahead. no you go ahead no you go no, sweetie you go. and then no traffic's moving <laughs> what a departure that is from the boca honk that is the opposite of the boca honk yeah how about that and uh, Joshua said, you guys talking about uh, food prices. Why would any of these corporations ever reduce prices when they are recording record profits? They got away with it by saying it's inflation and supply issues from the pandemic. I'm curious how we since solved many of these issues, but corporations aren't reducing prices. Yeah, I know it's, uh, it's a big issue. It'll be interesting to see what happens here with uh, inflation. They say at least probably a- another year it's going to be around in some form. Well, look at Bird. It looks like we might have a finished product. Wow, look at you. My handsome devil. Uh, oh, man. So oh, man. slick. Yeah. Dude. It, 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 different different on man. Top, it just kind of put matted down a little bit because of the. Uh, yeah. The, the gel or whatever they got there. Oh, man. I feel like Nemo Mom. Yeah. Nice yeah. I love it. Slick works. Yeah, man. that's how we like to leave him, too. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Slicky. What's this uh, stuff you're putting on his face now? Semen. <laughs> I was wondering why he's only using one hand, that whole uh, haircut. <laughs> oh, a little shave lotion. Okay. Wow. How about that? Oh, man. I feel good, Kevin. You look good. <laughs> you should feel good. You got to feel $100. light. I, that was so yeah. much hair. Oh God. It was so much hair. Yeah. Chi. Give it up for Yay, Chi. Yay, yeah. Chi. Nice job, man. Nice job. You did it. You tackled the impossible task. Work of art. Dang. Look at that guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he showed the whole thing off, front and back. Looks good. Yeah. We got uh, a lot of uh, photos coming your way. Uh, Let me see. I got uh, an email, a question for the Dirty Hippies, Jen said. And she said, so last week, Governor DeSantis said the state of Florida would smell like pot if it was legalized. To me, it smells like skunk. Not trying to be offensive. That's just the only thing I can think of. I'm legitimately trying to learn. Does that mean that the stronger the smell, the more potent it is? Hmm. Is that that what it is, Bird? It depends on the kind of weed sometimes. Some does smell like uh, skunk. But then, there's if, other... if you smell really skunky weed, does that mean it's stronger type of weed, or that's just when it could be weak and it could just still be skunky? When it smells strong and nice, mm-hmm. you, you do like that. There is a bush or a tree that we grow here in South Florida that yeah. smells exactly mm-hmm. like weed. So when you're driving in town, or especially by Howell Watkins uh, Middle School, okay. there's a big old tree Gardens. there. Mm-hmm. It smells like uh, weed. I don't know, maybe, maybe the middle schoolers are token it up. Yeah, I, he's the, asking, though, is it stronger because it smells stronger? No, I know. I'm a little distracted. I apologize. <laughs> I, I don't know, kid. Probably. Kid. I, I like to drink my I like to smoke my, my weed with whiskey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, we're tired. We're drunk. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, let me see. She said, by the way, uh, Jaybird, those shorts are great. I had to turn off my camera during a deposition because my facial expressions kept changing while I was watching KBJ TV this morning. So that's what happens. Jim. Oh, that's funny. Mm-hmm. Yep. Getting used to it. Uh, Jeremy said, I got a question. Is it me or did Virginia also tell a lie, a two truths and a lie from last week? Because Virginia's story was about her being too loud. When, in fact, the truth was an old man touched her daughter, so she didn't really tell the whole truth. So, hypothetically, doesn't that make her a liar as well? Well, I mean, we were loud, and he touched her, and, yeah, I mean, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Okay. All right. Just a thought. Good answer. (laughs) Strong response. I don't know, bro. You're not going to get much out of me now. I'm 
in the bag. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, then Brett said it uh, may be fun with two truths and a lie to have the three storytellers secretly draw to see who is the liar. So the other two don't actually know who it is either. Um, yes. I didn't know who it was this week. I thought it was Kevin. Mm-hmm. I thought you were lying about your mom's funeral. I thought Denny's story was true because yeah. I just didn't know. Yeah. You told me, and then I, I didn't uh, fill you in on who did what. Which is fine. The less I know, the happier I am. Yeah, we could. I mean, every player would need one truth and one lie to be ready, to, depending upon what they drew. And it could be something we do. It does complicate it. That means we have a much better chance of fucking it all up. But. I like being able to prepare the story and practice like what I'm going to say before I say it. And so if I don't know if I'm going to be the truth or the lie, then it might not be the best story. Okay. Yeah, so maybe do uh, focus on one at a time is what you're saying. Is that right? That's just me. For me, mm-hmm. it helps me focus and zone in and really practice it and whatever. I got two truths and no lies. I think you're both awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he's putting in, boy, he really, I mean, he's like a work of art over here. Right? I like, know. Really I'm watching this. I mean, he's... It looked good. He balance and he's sculpting the face and just to meet everything you want over there, huh? It I, is beautiful. I might have to buy a Peaky Blinder suit today. I, I yeah, you like that's where I, you I, think I, this I wanna, is. I want to wear a trench coat. I don't know. Trench coat, okay. With, with pants. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just as it's warming up. No, wear it. People are gonna think you're a flasher. <laughs> I'm always. I always tend to dress colder during the summer yeah. for some reason. <laughs> dress for the cold, I should say. <laughs> I uh, got an email from uh, Mr. Len. I'm so happy to see the KBJ show recognized <laughs> in a national magazine. Yes, thank you. We talked about that on Friday here. Uh, in all seriousness, I've been a big fan since I migrated to South Florida in 2012. I actually found your show while still living in Hawaii because I was moving to Florida and was considering all options. I ended up huh. here, and I've been a fan ever since. What a smart way to research an area yeah. you want to move to, mm-hmm. listen to the local radio there, and see the vibe. It is, yeah. I mean, you know, if local radio is doing what they should be doing, you should get a great sense of everything that's happening in that town. Amen. From it. I, I don't know, honestly, I- anymore, I don't know how many shows there are from market to market because, you know, there's – what us and i can think off the top of my head two three i mean you know there are some local shows i don't know how much they talk three four maybe four but there is a lot of really a lot of the bigger shows on the bigger stations it's probably about half and half throughout south florida a lot of syndicated what is live to what is syndicated and then obviously the syndicated shows are just gonna you know be doing their standard bits or whatever it is they do so you're not gonna get any of that the war of the roses yeah, I, I I don't know if anybody's uh, doing that in uh, this market these days, but who knows? Could be happening. Uh, some other uh, questions here. Got an email from Ashley. She said she's recently single. Ow! Not really looking to date anybody, but I'm still looking uh, like someone or a group to hang out with. 36, and I spent almost all my time with my uh, ex when we were together, and. I wasn't working, so I kind of lost touch with everybody. All my friends live about an hour from me now, so I was trying to figure out how to get plugged back in. You should have come to the Crawfish Fest over the weekend. There was a bunch of frisky people looking to play and make friends. She's looking for that rebound friend. (laughs) She's looking for that rebound D. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I've looked at Facebook friendship under the dating app. Uh, It's not for me. Any advice on how to get back out into the social scene without... Sitting around at bars just to meet people. Hey, what's the matter with sitting around at bars? Well, because people (laughs) start drinking and they get all horny and it's all about just the porking. (laughs) I mean, I think probably when you're talking about any of this kind of stuff, it's it's always about uh, going to a place where you have shared interests, right? I know that uh, it seems like there are groups that wind up being tight, people who do CrossFit and all that kind of stuff. They are doing something together, and then you give it a couple weeks or months, and then you're hanging out together all the time, and you're inseparable. Yeah, what do you like to do? Mm -hmm. Maybe donate your time to a charity and meet the people that are doing that. True. What kind of, like, 
sports stuff? Don't they have like adult leagues, like kickball, where they drink and have fun? Oh, anytime there's intramural stuff, Kev, one marriage falls apart because somebody starts swapping and fucking somebody else. <laughs> happens every year. That's how every, it goes down, huh? In every league, it happens to at least two marriages. You can be the single girl that goes in there and busts up a marriage. <laughs> How fun is that, right? That's going to definitely add some spice to your life. Hashtag goals. Uh-huh. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um, got to Autumn, who's been listening to the show since she was about seven years old. Uh, it was a little over 20 years ago. Aw. How nice is that, huh? I met so many people that are now in their early 20s that are like, yeah, I grew up with you. You guys raised us. I love to hear that. That's, That's awesome. so awesome. Mm-hmm. It just means your parents are cool. She said, I uh, have a link to a website that claims to sell legal magic mushrooms. I believe these were popular on TikTok, but I personally have long deleted that specific app. What is more interesting than the easy access of this product? Uh, and here is somebody that kind of wrote up a review. It says, I wanted to see just how effective these could be. I ate all 15 at once and took a bath. <laughs> A what? A mushroom? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Is yeah. that a real review? Is that real? I saw oh, in between dimensions where I met the two beings, one of pure warm light and one of cold. Seemed like pretty chill dudes. Then I ran a couple of miles and the belief that if I ran fast enough, I could travel back in time. This was not the case. But overall, I'd say this is a solid product that I would highly recommend. This is a That might review. be a fake review. you got to be super careful. You shouldn't eat 15 of anything. I apologize. Are they talking about real mushrooms from That's the ground? New Magic Mushrooms Vape Disposables. And they're talking about the verified buyer, yeah, Hans, who went to Trip Out City. Voyage to Trip Out City, it says. So a lot of those reviews. Views are fake, Kevin. You don't think that's uh, real? So I don't know. I that? don't know. I mean, you ate 15 mushrooms or whatever. Well, I'm just, is it yeah. real mushrooms? Like, I'm going to shit my balls off kind of mushrooms? Because 15, mm-hmm. you're going to see God, Jack. I, I know people that eat mushrooms on the reg, and they eat like half of the stem. Well, they say it. it <laughs> like, they mushrooms are strong. Selling, quote, legal magic mushrooms. Okay, that, that's kind of like uh, St. John's wort. Oh, bird, this will help right. you with your sleeping anxiety. Yeah, those mushrooms aren't yeah. real, and that review is probably not real. When people come at me with some St. John's wort for my sleeping, I'm like, what, guys, come <laughs> on, man. I'm a fucking horse. I need the strong stuff. <laughs> I need a horse tranquilizer. You trank? <laughs> Yeah, do they have ratings, or how do you know? Is is all mushrooms created the same, or do you have to go in there and you get a certain caliber of a mushroom? You need to find somebody that you trust and figure out how to do that. You don't buy mushrooms off Instagram or a web message or from a stranger. Like, you got to go find somebody who knows what they're talking about. I, I've had somebody, I'm not even kidding you, I had, a, I had a conversation with them. I didn't know them. They were working on something with my house. And very nice. And mm-hmm. like as I'm talking, he's like, oh, man, I'm uh, picking all these kind of mushrooms. Uh, so he's telling me all about how he's in the mushrooms. And then 10 minutes later, find out that my gas line's been cut. <laughs> <laughs> if the guy digging in your yard is on mushrooms, it may be time to let him go. <laughs> I'm not saying he was on mushrooms. I'm just saying he had a long talk about how he loves right. picking mushrooms. And then 10 minutes later, my motherfucking gas line's cut. That's been a nightmare. <laughs> His gas like line, hand hand. it's well, been an actual nightmare. It does make you think, are you on mushrooms now? <laughs> <laughs> Can I get sober diggers? <laughs> he might have been fine. I don't know. Could have been a coincidence. <laughs> Uh, some valuable information sent in here about uh, AI. Dr. Astrid said, as a college professor, I can tell you that I do have students who attempt to cheat with AI all the time. This means that I have to check papers for plagiarism and the use of AI. There are AI checkers, and they work by giving percentage of the paper written by AI. College policy means this is plagiarism, and I catch him because AI is too smart and it uses words my students usually don't understand. AI can catch AI. Look, yeah, I'm so against AI. I don't even want it. I'm so against it. Well, when you're getting your education, yeah, it's not a good thing because then you don't actually have the knowledge. AI is starting to replace humans. What's the fucking end goal here? I got no problem with AI for, like, a guy selling real estate that wants to write up four paragraphs about the proper 
property he's selling, and he just puts in all the, the, the stats on the property, and then AI writes a beautiful description. Great. Do it. Go for it. But somebody who's cheating on their, you know, college paper so they can be a psychiatrist, like, or, that's fucked up. I put three words into it, and then AI writes me a great song, and fuck that. That's gonna, that's, it's putting musicians out of work. It's, it, it's fucking terrible if you're a musician. I agree. It's fucking terrible. It's not real. It's I, not honest. I'm morally against AI when it comes to that kind of stuff. Engineer Key said uh, in his email, I contend that using ChatGPT to write a paper for school is not cheating. It's like saying that it's cheating to use a calculator for math homework. ChatGPT is just a word calculator in essence uh, is what it is. If you don't engage with the material well enough to craft a good prompt, then you're going to get a garbage answer from ChatGPT. She is done. All right, we it's finished, done, huh? Baby. Looks beautiful. It's over. I'm out That's of it. Prison. Yay! That's right. Thank you so much, Chad. Yeah. Love it. It's so clean it's good. and fresh. It, 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 it's so good, good, dude. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you man. It's so nice to meet in. you. Yeah, mm -hmm. What's your business one more time? The Vault Professional Suites, the Vault Barbershop on North Lake and Prosperity Farms Road in Lake Park, Florida. Come check us out. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you, Chief. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely, man. Thank you so much. Loved it. Um, and a little thought here on cannonballs. We talked last week in the Whacked Out News. Somebody found one, like, in their yard, and they had to have somebody come and dispose of it. Sounds like it was a live cannonball. Could it explode? What's going on? Well, Echo said, a cannonball is a solid projectile that is typically fired from a cannon or a similar artillery piece. The cannonball relies on its mass and velocity to cause damage upon impact with the target. There are different types of cannonballs used throughout history. Some were solid iron or steel projectiles, while others were hollow and filled with explosive materials. However, the term cannonball typically refers to the solid, non-explosive variety, but I guess maybe they weren't taking a chance. I want the solid, non-explosive cannonball. I just want to play with it. You do, huh? Yeah, I think it'd be fun. Chuck it around? I just want to see how far they go. And, yeah, it'd be well, fun. it depends upon the cannon you fire it out of, Look. what you use to propel it. Playing with balls is fun. <laughs> yeah. That's what she said. Mm hmm And uh, you always see these uh, kind of things. You'd be like, what happened here, man? There was a video I saw. I don't know Bye. If you guys Bye. Check out. See you, Chi. I don't know if you guys ever check out some of these uh, only in sites. We follow all of them on our Instagram. Uh, there's always just stuff that's happening. Uh, this was right by the Broward. Uh, was it Broward Water Sports? Is that the name of it? It's right there on Okeechobee and close to Congress. Uh, if you know where that is, it's right on the corner. Oh, Broward Motorsports? Yes. Yeah, Broward Motorsports. That's, I, right. that's where I got my jet ski from. Okay, yeah. So this is happening right there. And uh, here's somebody uh, doing the video. And they're like, well, I, you know, you're like, what the heck's going on? It shows uh, Palm Beach Sheriff. They've got an undercover black pickup truck. And then they've got a car. Looks kind of like a Jeep SUV that they have pinned in, meaning that there was a car that stopped front, right in front of them, and another car that came up and wedged themselves so they could not get out. And they have guns drawn and all that kind of stuff. Oh, damn. Yeah, you always wonder, like, what the hell is going on here? What did he do? What did he do? <laughs> what yeah. did he do? I bet it was fun while he was doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, okay, what was going on? I always love people now. You know, they do the they do the play-by-play -play and all that kind of stuff, and here they are driving by it. Bro. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! No way! What homeboy did, bruh? <laughs> Damn, he's grits! <laughs> Damn, he's grits! I wonder if he knows he. Damn, he's grits! He's grits? Grits? What does that mean? It means. Is he, is he cooked? Oh, I gotcha. He's, I assume it means he's it's done. not good. He's done. They're... He's done. He's grits. I like that. That's yeah, good. I'm gonna use that. Yeah, no, no idea what it is, but yeah, it's too unmarked. In fact, they're uh, like trucks. You would see. I assume they're undercover vehicles. So whatever this person did, man. those undercover cops. I mean, that, if, if you're in a truck, and it's an undercover cop car, like that is sneaky. Yeah. No one's ever gonna know that's a cop. Well, and I think you know, like I was saying, what they likely did here is that they knew where he was. They had the other person. Like it's. I'm sure it's some kind of like I've, I've heard they do pit maneuvers and. Things like that uh, as different ways of catching their suspects. And they say, okay, it's going down. 
swarm. Yeah. Right. And they all just get them. Right. And so I assume that this is some kind of maneuver, like going, okay, I'm in front of them, you get behind, and then, boom, then we've got them. And that's exactly what happened here. In fact, you can see, if you're uh, watching KBJ TV right now, that is the – it's a Jeep Cherokee, and they got a truck in the front a truck in the back. And you can see they've got them, like, they are bumper to bumper. Wow. Like, there is no moving. And then you've got the cops that are coming up slow roll with uh, rifles. And uh, yeah, so I don't know what that uh, situation was. They said it was um, a high speed chase and they got a helicopter up above, too. Wow. So it was legit. But you ever see those things? You're like, what happened, man? What's going on here? Have either one of you ever been pulled over by a police helicopter? No. Pulled over by a police helicopter? It, hap- no. it can happen. How do they pull you over? They I, they land on your car. They they wow. no they they hover low. They put uh-huh. an announcement on and go pull over now. It's a real thing. Is that happen to you? Never. But I would no. imagine if you're to that level, you've done something really bad. They I, don't they don't use that for me going five miles over the limit. <laughs> I actually got pulled over on a by a cop on foot, which was very depressing. I'm going. I think I can outrun this guy. But, <laughs> uh, with my luck. I'll memorize my lesson. It's so embarrassing. That's what a lot of people say right before they go to jail. I think I can outrun this guy. I don't think he's got a bike or a car. I think he He has a radio, though. He has a radio. All he has to do is call. I was a little bitch. I pulled over. I had the same thing. I had a guy wave me over one time. I got caught in a speed trap. and Yeah, because that's what they'll do. They'll just call down ahead and they'll get you eventually. It's so low budget to feel like I got pulled over by a cop on foot (laughs) while I'm in a car. Yeah. Don't play. Pull over. <laughs> mm-hmm. Don't play. Pull over. All right. Well, we got a brand new bird unleashed on the world. Yes. There is sweet oh, and sexy and now. free. Oh the ladies are going nuts. I can shake it. It doesn't shake Look back. At that. <laughs> he is a new dude. It's clean. Man. It is a few yeah. Points. There you go. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. Thanks for getting us to over 30,000 subscribers. The reason why Jaber cut his hair today. Appreciate you all. Thanks for clicking like if you are watching the video. Y'all have a good Monday. We're back here tomorrow. Goodbye.